I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. Whether you're just joining the channel or you've been watching me for years, please take a minute to click subscribe on my channel. I found out recently that about 95% of my videos are viewed by people who are not subscribed. And I'm not sure why, it doesn't cost you anything to click that little button. Even if this is the only video that you ever watch, I appreciate you being subscribed to the channel. If you want notified, there's the bell icon and you can always click like or dislike as you please. But please, subscribe to my channel so I know there's people out there watching my show. Today, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make an awesome project using some simple stuff you probably have laying around at home. And it's going to look immersive and help you out at your game. Now, depending on the type of game that you play, something like this may not be completely necessary, um, but if you play any sort of caster or if your game involves any sort of scrolls or pieces of paper you're handed that involve maybe bounties or you know ancient knowledge or things of that nature, and you're always struggling with where to put the pieces of paper uh, that your marshals or your game masters or your plot people hand to you, then this is gonna be helpful to you. It's pretty compact to carry, and even if you don't use it for scrolls and stuff, you may still find use for it for other items. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna make a scroll tube. And the first thing you're gonna need is an empty chip can. Now, I don't care if it's a name brand or a generic thing, but buy it, eat everything that's inside, and get the empty can. The second thing you're gonna need is some sort of fake leather. I mean, you can use real leather if you have it. I'm just gonna use fake stuff because it's easier to work with. Um, I have some black here, but I feel like everything I do is black. So I think I'm gonna make a brown one. And what we're gonna do is basically wrap this into fake leather and then dress it up with some uh, shiny stuff to make it look good and then make a little belt loop for it. Let me go ahead and show you how that works. Now first things first, you wanna take your chip container and you can either put tape around the outside or you can spray it with some sort of waterproof sealant. This way, if this thing gets damp temporarily, it's not gonna destroy what's inside. Tape is the easy way to do it, but you can also spray, like I said, with something waterproof. Uh, you can put through the roof on it or whatever you have laying around to try to keep that water and moisture out. The next step then, after that's dried or after you've wrapped it in tape, is to go ahead and get your fake leather. Now this is something I ripped off of an old sofa and I've used it before in my videos, but you can source your fake leather wherever you want. Craft stores have it, or if you're using real leather, then you know, you know what you're doing already. So we go ahead and take this, we're gonna start in a corner, okay? And then we're basically just going to make some marks and we're gonna roll this so we know how large of a piece we need to cut. Now I'm going to mark the edge of the can where I'm starting at. That way whenever I roll it, I'm going to know how far I need to go to cut. This way, even if you're measuring impaired, you should be able to make this project. And of course we want to make sure that it's you know, long enough this way as well. Our next step, of course, is just cutting it out. Now, once you've cut it out, we can go ahead and get our can and do a practice roll here with it to make sure it's gonna be big enough. And yep, and you can already start to see what we're gonna end up with here. So the next step is you can use some sort of contact cement, barge cement, whatever you have laying around. If you're heavy into LARPing and prop making, you already have the stuff you need to make most of the projects I show you on here. So you can barge cement this, whatever. If you don't, hot glue's gonna work, uh, or really probably most glues, because we're just gluing some fake leather onto cardboard. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna hot glue this. And we want to keep this below the top. And this is very important because if you want to be able to reuse that lid that came with it, it's going to need to have some place to stick onto. So go ahead and put your lid on. Push this all the way up to the top of it. 
and that's where you're going to attach it at. And through the miracle of time, here's what we have. Now let me explain to you exactly what I did here since I skipped over all the steps. And I skipped over all the steps because this is a really easy project. When I stepped away from the camera, this took me probably 15 minutes to do. Now, depending on what type of glues you're using and if you're painting or not, you know, you'll have to adjust that time frame. But if you're using hot glue or glue that dries real fast, like a spray adhesive, this would be a pretty quick project for you. So what I did was I cut some fun foam out into a circular shape and I put it on top of the lid. I cut a small bit of leather and put it on the side of the lid. And then to edge the border, I put on a little piece of twine and just glued that into place. So I think that that gives the lid, you know, a little bit of a, an interesting look. Now, if I'm gonna use this in game, I would put some sort of symbol on top of this as well, or some sort of ornament to make this look a little bit more fancy. But for making this video, this is what we got. Now, as far as the can itself, like I said, we just cut out that fake leather and stretched it over it. Now this is uh, fake, so it does stretch, so it's really forgiving. However, you're gonna have a seam on here no matter what you do. So what I did was I took a piece of fun foam, cut it, put it over top of that seam, and then just sort of freehanded some symbols on there. And then on the bottom of the can, I did the same thing as the lid, fun foam, a little bit of that twine, and now you have a scroll tube. I think that these are pretty awesome as far as carrying pieces of paper because this way you have sort of a sealed waterproof or water resistant area to keep scrolls and if you get a lot of stuff like these scrolls and games that you play they fit in here real nicely and you know they're not going to get messed up. You don't have to worry about them getting wet or any sort of stuff on them. It's better than crinkling them up or folding them and putting them in your pocket. Someone went through a little bit of time to make this so if you want to keep them intact something like this is great to have. Now, of course, if you don't use scrolls at your game, I mean, you could maybe keep something else in here. Uh, you could always put the chips back in and carry them around and munch on them. That's entirely up to you. But it does give you a nice sort of tube to carry. And I had everything I needed to make this just laying around for making other props, the fake leather, a little bit of twine, you know, some glue, piece of fun foam, and a Pringles can. Even if you had to buy this stuff, this project's probably under $5. If you had the stuff laying around, you could probably make this right now at no cost to yourself. Now, like I said, I purposely kept this build vague. Normally I show you, you know, all the steps, me sort of with the sped up video, but I didn't do that today because I really want you to make this your own. Like I mentioned, yeah, depending on your skill level, you can use real leather. You can use this faux leather, you could use fabric, you could use fun foam, you could just spray paint the can, uh, do whatever you want. You can make it look like a log, you can make it real fancy, you could put things that you know dangle off of it. Uh, really make the project yours. You can make it fit your kit, your costume. So if you wear all purple, make this thing purple. If you wear all black, make this thing black. However you want to do it. Um, I would use this probably to carry scrolls in, but there's also enough space in here. The little daggers I have, nothing with a cross card, but a little dagger will definitely fit in here. One of those uh, crystal lights that I made on a previous video, that would fit in here, and you can carry other stuff in this. Some suggestions or pro tips I would have if you decide to make one of these would be put some hardware on the outside. So go buy uh, some little hooks or latches or something, put them on the outside so you can run a piece of leather through and have this actually be uh, like a little purse or something that you can carry around. If you don't want to do that, you can always take something, wrap it around the top, and then I would suggest securing that with a small screw or bolt so that it stays in place. And then you'll take and just run it around the bottom as well, but then that'll give you a handy carrying strap whenever you want to carry it around. So. You know, there's lots of ways you can carry this. You could make just a belt loop for it and carry it on your belt. Uh, you can make two loops on it. You can carry it on like a bandolier on your chest. Whatever works best for your character. I mean, you could maybe even mount it on your hat or the back of your armor or something, whatever you wanna do. Now, I show you this because it's really great for anyone that plays magic characters or anyone that might be carrying around documents, librarians, historians, stuff like that at a game. But if you cut the bottom of this out and take the lid off, 
You could also strap this and you could use this to carry a sword in. Um, you could possibly back mount it right in the center of your back, stick a sword in it. You could definitely carry it on your side and keep something in it. Obviously you need it to be longer so that it comes out the back. If you are looking to have a couple of sword hangers, then you could cut this can in half and use that. The only thing I would tell you is that, I mean, keep in mind it is a Pringles can. It's not gonna last forever. Now, if you treat it well, you might be able to get through a season or maybe even a few with it, but the point is it's very easy to build. So if you do have one, you fall on it, it gets crushed, it gets broken in battle or something, you can always make another one. If you make one and you think it's just amazing, incredible, and you don't want anything bad to happen to it, then you could remake one out of PVC pipe or something so it's a little bit more sturdy, but it is also going to be a lot more heavy. Or you could always go in and you could try to reinforce it somehow, maybe with just a piece of PVC on the bottom, maybe one glued in the middle and one on the top, either on the inside or outside, and that would keep this uh, much stronger so that it's less prone to get broken. I really hope you enjoyed the idea of the scroll holder or scroll tube, and I hope that you make one yourself, and I hope that this video has inspired you to uh, get creative and sort of go your own route. If you want to just make the one like I did, that's fine. Like I said, fun foam, twine, some fake leather and a Pringles can, and you can see how that looks, but get creative with it. If you decide to make one, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see the picture. I'd love to hear how it goes or how it works out for you. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like if you like the video, and click the bell if you want notified. But I do make weekly videos. And of course, as always, Adventure on. My scrolls in here.